guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Vagisha Mishra. I review and decode beauty pageants at my channel. So if you are visiting the channel for the first time, please go ahead and subscribe the channel and also turn on the bell icon so you'll be the first to get notified whenever a video goes live at my channel. So in this very video, I'm going to talk about five pageant words which you should be using in your pageant interviews in order to show that you are the right fit for the title. So without further ado, let's get started and let's know about it. Right now, you must be thinking that I would be speaking about words like kindness, grace, humility, consideration and passion. But trust me, they are not in my list and here's why. Usually, these words have become quite cliched in beauty pageants and have lost the power to make an impact in the pageant industry. They are no longer unique and when you are competing in any beauty pageant, you have to show that you are unique and you want to stand out in any beauty pageant. So what should you do in order to show that you are really unique and the right fit for the title? In a pageant interview, everyone wants to hear certain positive words about you. Everyone knows that. And I'm sure that you must have come across the concept of selling yourself across your words. Now trust me, this whole idea of selling yourself with words is something which I really hate. The fact is that the interviewer doesn't want to hear that what are those words which describe you. He just wants to know two things from you. Number one, are you the right choice for the title? And number two, will you do your job well if you are chosen as the title holder? So if you are actually able to answer these questions with your words, I am sure that you will certainly get into the spotlight and may even end up winning the male title. So in this video, without further delay, I shall be unfolding five words which will tell the interviewer that yes, you are absolutely the right choice for being crowned as a beauty queen and you will do your work and responsibilities well as a beauty queen if given a chance. With each word, I will be giving you certain examples and I'll be telling you why this word is actually useful for you to use in any pageant interview. So the very first word is responsibility or responsible. So any beauty pageant organization is definitely looking for somebody who can have the ownership of the work responsibilities offered to her. They are looking for somebody who can carry forward the work which is listed as the duties and responsibilities of that particular title holder. Like for Miss World, it is carrying out the philanthropic causes as a beauty with a purpose, going to different countries and doing that job perfectly. For Miss Universe, it's all about the smile train and spreading your advocacies across the world, having press conferences. So any beauty pageant organization is looking for someone who can fulfill the duties of being a beauty queen. So that's where the real work begins. It's not when you win the title, the competition ends and your work is done. That's when the real work is actually going to begin. So they are looking forward to somebody who can actually take up the duties and responsibilities of a beauty queen and can fulfill all the responsibilities which is offered to her as a job or as a work of being a Miss World or a Miss Universe or, or any other beauty pageant title holder. They are looking for somebody on whom they can easily rely upon whenever any work has to be done. So definitely they are going to look for somebody who is not going to avoid the work. So if your words or your tone showcases that you are somebody who is quite lethargic and who may procrastinate in future, they are definitely not going to select you. So with your words, you have to be very clear that you are a responsible person and whatever task is allocated to you, you are responsible enough to do your work with utmost dedication and responsibility. So whenever you're speaking in any pageant interview, what you can do is whenever you're referring to your past experiences, you can frame a sentence like, I was responsible for doing this or I was responsible for doing so and so or I had the responsibility of carrying out so and so work. So whenever you are talking about any advocacy or any NGO which you were a part of or any leadership activity which you undertook before joining the pageants, you have to use the word responsibility or responsible in order to show that you are somebody who is very serious about the work roles which is offered to you and if given a chance to work for anybody, you are somebody who will do the work with utmost dedication and responsibility and will not avoid doing that work. 
Now the number two power word which you should be using in your pageant interview is collaboration or coexistence. Now this is one of my personal favorite words and I keep on using it in my interviews as well. So this word actually shows that you are somebody who can work along with different people to achieve an end goal. So when you are working in a team, you know that you are taking each and everybody who is a part of team towards a goal and you can achieve it together. You are not somebody who is isolated from the group and you know that how important it is for everybody to go exist together whenever you're working to achieve a bigger cause. So when you participate in huge pageants like Miss World or Miss Universe or even the national pageants, it is very important that you are not actually jealous from each other and you are not actually trying to compete with your fellow contestant be better than them, but rather you are coexisting with them and in that process you are actually taking everybody along with you in the journey which is the destination. So whenever you're referring your past experiences, what you can do is you can use the word like coexistence or I collaborated with so and so to achieve so and so and you can include all the key details here in order to fit your sentence. So this is another word which you should be using in your pageant interview which is collaboration or coexistence. Now the number three power word which you should be using in your pageant interview is initiated. Now this is somewhere closely linked with responsibility and it shows that you want to do some work whenever it is needed to be done irrespective of whether the other person is asking you to do that work or not and whether it is your turn or not. Initiative is a word which shows that you are a responsible person, you are there in the situation and irrespective of whether somebody forces you to do something or not, you are actually very observant of what is the right thing to do at that very moment. Now this also shows that you offer help to other people before they ask you for the help. So this is something which actually give a very positive impression about you and this is one word which you should definitely not miss in your pageant interview. Pageant organizations definitely love somebody who keeps on taking initiative because it shows that you are not merely a hard worker but also you can coexist with other people and you have that confidence, self-confidence to stand out in the crowd and take up responsibilities of the work which is not even assigned to you. So whenever you are referring your past experiences, you can definitely frame your sentences like this. I took an initiative to and then you can add up your key elements which you want to talk about. So this is how you can be using the word initiative in your pageant interview. Now the number four power word is lead, leader or leadership. Now these three words are interrelated to each other and it really shows that you can actually lead the action. You can actually take the responsibility of leading a group of people. So when you show that you are in charge of leading something, either be it an activity or leading a group of people to do something which is positive and may result in positive outcomes, you are trying to show yourself as a candidate who can actually take along different candidates and can take along different works of any pageant organization after being crowned and you can also talk about certain ideas which are new and instrumental and significant for any beauty pageant organization. So basically by using a word like being the leader or having the leadership quality, you are trying to show that you are someone who can inspire others to take an action. Now the number five power word is result. Now this is not the exact word which you should be using in your pageant interview but what I mean by using the word result is that people actually love somebody who can actually solve the problem in a go, who has the problem solving attitude and he can actually satisfy the people by the end of any problem. That so not everybody is capable of finding a solution to the problem and by the end of which everybody is satisfied. So if you can highlight certain instances from your past where you actually resulted in some positive outcomes and people were satisfied with your work, any pageant organization will definitely like to give you an opportunity. Here you can actually talk about your past experiences in a form of story and you can make them believe that you are somebody who does the work with complete conviction and result in positive outcomes. So everybody is not capable of doing so and everybody does not have the capability of having the problem solving attitude or having the proper decision making skills. So if you are able to show your results in a positive way, 
I am definitely sure that they will certainly give you an opportunity to go ahead. Also, don't forget to talk about your actions. It's very good to talk about your experiences in the form of story. But unless and until you cannot prove it with your evidence and your authentic examples that what are the exact results which you achieved, people are not actually going to believe in you. So it's very important that you also throw light on your actions. So the interviewer actually doesn't want to hear that you are a great leader or you are something who is very powerful, but they rather want to believe it with the results you have shown in the past. So try stating it in the form of stories by giving examples of your past that you have done some significant work in order to authenticate to whatever you're saying. So believe in talking about actions and not only about using adjectives which are attractive to describe yourself as a person and as a better fit of any beauty pageant. So that was all for today's video. Do let me know in the comment section how did you find this video. And if you like this video, go give it a huge fat thumbs up and share it with your friends so as to make this community a bigger pageant family. And also stay tuned to my social media outlets. The link has been left in the description box below. Thank you for watching and I will see you guys next time.